What's going on guys? Jimmy Mahalik here back with a second stimulus check update today for you guys. In this video, we're going to cover some recent stimulus update news and some new news about the virus and also a new proposal for a $4,000 stimulus. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do so. This way you won't miss out on second stimulus check updates. And also on this channel, I have videos about personal finance, investing, and videos about how to make money selling products on Amazon. Okay, first up, the U.S. just hit an all-time single-day high of new virus cases with over 45,000 people in one day now having the virus. And we're starting to see this now in multiple different states, now all reporting all-time highs of the virus as we start to reopen. And the thing about the reopening is it's just going to spread the virus more. We're starting to see some cases such as in Texas, they're now pausing the reopening and not reopening several different areas of their economy anymore. And the question remains is, will we start to see a countrywide pause of the reopening or actually a second closure of the country as this continues to spread? In fact, let me know down below in the comments if your state or area is actually pausing their reopening or if everything in your area is actually still opening. Let me know down below in the comments. Also, if you can, hit the like button for me down below. It really helps out my channel. Also, what you can see here down in this graph down below is that most of the rest of the world is actually their cases per 1 million people is significantly declining. And we had a decline also while we were in quarantine. But now that the country is starting to reopen, we're seeing a significant spike in cases per 1 million people. And compared to the rest of the world, everybody else is going down or maybe having like a little bit of a bump here. But we're actually starting to see all-time highs in a lot of the areas of the country. And, you know, I used to be one of those guys who thought, you know, this is kind of like the flu. You know, the flu kills somewhere near 50,000 people every single year. But I think the main problem with this virus, besides the fact that it shut our entire country down, is that it just spreads a lot more. As you can see here, we've already had 124,000 deaths in the United States with 2.4 million confirmed cases and almost 500,000 deaths across the world. And the problem is, is that this is just going to continue to spread. And then we have out of touch politicians that don't want to give a stimulus and want to close the country again, but not give stimulus to the people such as this. We have Republican Senator Ron Johnson told the New York Times last week that the virus may kill no more than 3.4% of our population. And he goes on to say how, you know, 97% of us are going to survive. The problem with that is how many people there are in the U.S. So if we look here, the U.S. has 328 million people. And if we bring up our handy dandy calculator here and we figure out what 3% deaths is on the U.S. population, that's almost 10 million people dying. Can you imagine 10 million people dying? For example, the 9-11 attacks on New York City killed just under 3,000 people, and we still remember that today. That had a significant change on our country. And as of April, there was already more people that had died from the virus, and that was months ago, just in New York City. So if we think about tragedies such as 9-11 that killed 3,000 people and had a profound effect on our country, could you imagine if 10 million people from our country died from this virus? That would be a very sobering fact. And if this virus keeps spreading, it's just going to mean that more and more of the country can't reopen. And that is going to probably lead to politicians having to extend the federal unemployment stimulus bonus to Americans. It's currently at $600 per week, and that's currently set to end on July 31st. We just had almost 1.5 million more Americans file for unemployment just this past week alone. 
So there's been a lot of talks on if they're going to extend that additional unemployment money, the $600 per week. They're talking about extending it to the point of three to $400 per week. So I will let you guys know, we're gonna have significant news about that coming up in the next few weeks as the July 31st deadline for that comes much closer. I think the likelihood of those back to work bonus stimuluses that we were hearing about is going to decrease if we start to see the reopenings pause across the country because if we can't go back to work, they're probably not going to have a back to work bonus here going forward and will probably increase the unemployment benefits instead. A big factor on our next stimulus check will be the June jobs report that's set to come out in about a week. And I do expect to see more people going back to work because the country is reopening right now. And any pausings of reopenings is just starting to start. So I do think this June jobs report is, is going to see, you know, several million Americans starting to go back to work. But I don't think that's going to really be like good news for the country because that's what's expected to happen as we open up and go back to work. In other news, the IRS from the first stimulus payment actually paid more than 1 million people stimulus checks and sent it out to them even though they were already deceased. And I think that's absolutely crazy that the IRS would send these stimulus checks out when they're not even alive. But yeah, that is what happened to over 1 million people. But yet there's still like 35 million people that haven't received their first stimulus checks that are waiting on the IRS to still send their first stimulus check out. And yet they send them out to these other people that aren't even around. And that just shows you how our government is about some things. And with that being said, we actually had another $4,000 stimulus proposal this week just come out and it's it's crazy that they're actually coming out with ideas like this. As you can see here, Senator Martha McSally, a Republican from Arizona, introduced a bill this week to support the struggling tourist industry. This is a new bill, mind you. This is a new bill. As it's known, will provide a $4,000 tax credit to individuals and an $8,000 tax credit to joint filers for travel-related expenses until 2022. This one is similar to the previous $4,000 tax credit for travel, but this is a second one. That first one was called the Explore America tax, suggested by President Trump during a White House meeting in May. Why they're proposing travel tax credits when we're seeing the virus see all-time highs in America and we're starting to see states pause their reopenings is just completely out of touch with reality. I've had thousands of comments from you guys down below in the comment section saying that you're just struggling to buy food and to pay rent and they want to give $4,000 tax credits to people to travel when we're starting to see all these states with travel bans. We're starting to see states such as New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut impose quarantine for travelers coming from other states that have high virus cases, they're literally not letting them enter into their state without a 14-day quarantine period. And yet we have senators and congressmen introducing $4,000 travel tax credits to travel. It just seems like they're completely out of touch. So with all that being said, we do actually have some good news on the horizon is that they're probably going to be voting on the $1 trillion or $1.5 trillion stimulus bill uh, that's supposed to add 1 million jobs for infrastructure. And they could include a stimulus check to Americans. They're supposed to be voting on that probably before the July 4th recess. So we're hoping till we see some indication on that. And if not, when they come back from the July 4th recess, they're supposed to be voting on the HEROES Act and negotiating on that second stimulus bill directly to Americans. So all of that should be happening within the next few weeks. So we're going to see a lot of movement in the next few weeks on stimulus checks directly to Americans. So hopefully we have some really good news on that 
very soon. I will keep you guys updated on all the upcoming news. Make sure you're subscribed here and click the like button for me down below. It really helps out my channel. And over here in this top video, I'll link a video where President Trump announced the next stimulus package. And this bottom video is when you can expect the next stimulus check. And over here, I'll link a playlist that teaches you how to start selling on Amazon. I have students that have replaced their entire nine to five income by selling one product on Amazon. Thanks guys, and I will see you in the next video.